King James Bible, the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 3. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff and the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophets and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator, and I will give children to their to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honorable. When a man shall take hold of his brother of, of the house of his father, saying, Thou art, thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this ruin be under thy hand. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be a healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. For Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of his glory. The shoe of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. The Lord standeth up to plead, and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people, and the princes thereof, for ye have eaten up the vineyard, and the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What means ye that ye beat my people to pieces, and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts? Moreover the Lord saith, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks, and wanton eyes, walking in mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with the scab of Therefore the Lord will smite with the with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and their cowls and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels and the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples of the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the vials. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smile there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle a rent, and instead of a well set air baldness, hair baldness, and instead of a stomach acre, a, a girding sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. They, thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war, and her, get, and her gates shall be lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. Chapter 4 and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name, to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent, and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem, shall be called holy even every one that it is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof, by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night, for upon all the glory shall be a defense. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a, a covert from storm and from rain. <clears throat> Chapter 5 Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in his very fruitful hill. 
and he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein and he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes and now o inhabitants of jerusalem and men of judah judge i pray you betwixt me and my vineyard what could have been done more to my vineyard that i have not done in it wherefore when i looked that it should bring forth grapes brought it forth wild grapes and now go to i will tell you what i will do to my vineyard i will take away the hedge thereof and it shall be eaten up and break down the wall thereof and it shall be trodden down and i will lay it to waste and it shall not be pruned nor digged but there shall come up briars and thorns i will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it for the vineyard of the lord of hosts is the house of israel and the men of judah his pleasant plant and he looked for judgment but behold oppression for righteousness but behold a cry woe unto them that join house to house that lay field to field till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth in mine ears said the lord of hosts of a truth many houses shall be desolate even great and fair without inhabitant yea ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath and the seed of a homer shall yield an epath woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink that continue until night till wine inflame them and the harp and the viol the tabaret and pipe and wine and in their feast but they regard not the work of the lord neither consider the oppression of his hands therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it and the mean man shall be brought down and the mighty man shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled but the lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment and god that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness then shall the lambs feed after their manner and the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a cart rope that say let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the holy one of israel draw nigh and come that we may know it woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteous of the righteous from him therefore as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the chaff so their root shall be as rootness, and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he hath stretched forth his hand against them, and hath smitten him in the hills that did tremble. <clears throat> and their carcass were torn in the midst of the streets, for all this is, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth, and behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. None shall be weary nor stumble among them, none shall slumber nor sleep, neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the lace of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent, their horses' hooves shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring shall be like a lion, and they shall roar like young lions. Yea, they shall roar, and lay hold of prey, and shall carry it away safe, and none shall devour it. Sorry, deliver it. In that day they shall roar against him like the roaring of a sea. And if one look unto the land, behold darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof.